Hey everyone, so today I'm super excited to be reviewing the sneaker, not only because it's a Jordan 1, but because it's one of the most anticipated colorways of 2020. Shout out to Joyce, my brother Andrew's girlfriend, for lending me her pair along with another pair that I'm going to release in the future. Thank you for giving me content. So if you guys like my sneaker reviews and any of the other stuff here on my channel, please do consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. According to my analytics, about 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. So that could mean that some of you guys do come back to my channel and watch my content but aren't subscribed yet. Or a lot of you guys are new here to the channel. Hi, how you doing? My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers so I can enroll in the YouTube Partner Program and hopefully one day get paid to do something that I love which is making videos. So whether you're new to the channel or you just haven't done it yet, I hope you can consider subscribing to the channel. Please and thank you. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into my review, my first impressions, and my honest opinions on the Air Jordan 1 in the dark mocha colorway. So ever since this colorway was announced, these automatically became one of the most anticipated and sought after colorways to date because of its resemblance to the infamous Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott without the thousand dollar price tag. Jumping right into the sneaker, you got the Air Jordan 1 in the black toe color blocking scheme. You got black leather on the toe box, the lace eyelets, and the Nike swoosh its normal position compared to the reverse swoosh on the Travis Scott. You got the white tongue with the black Nike Air tag up top. The shoe comes in black laces, but you do get an extra pair of white laces if you want to switch it up. Of of course where the sneaker gets its name, you've got the dark mocha suede around the ankle collar and on the heel. You've got the classic Jordan Wings logo on the lateral side of the ankle. And rounding off the sneaker, you've got the white rubber midsole and the black Nike rubber outsole. Okay, now for my thoughts and honest opinions on the shoe. And I've said it before on my review of the Cactus Jack Air Force Ones, but I am not a big fan of the Travis Scott Air Jordan Ones. I know, please don't kill me. And to be blunt, I think that the only reason why these are in such high demand is because of the Travis Scott hype. These days, if you associate anything with his name, people will want to buy it and it will for sure sell out. For example, the McDonald's Travis Scott collaboration. All they did was stick his name on a burger meal. There's no special branding, new sauce, no kitty meal, nothing. All they did was stick his name on it. And people still lined up for it on the first day. He sold a chicken nugget pillow on his website for $90. And even now, that thing is reselling for six times the price. But I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted that pillow. Not because it was Travis Scott, but because it was a three foot chicken nugget. So of course when these guys came out, it was no brainer. Why wouldn't you jump on a silhouette that resembled a $2,000 sneaker by Travis Scott? But I think that's why personally I'm indifferent to them. You call me a hipster, you call me whatever, but I think that's pretty much all there is to them. I love the colorway. It's super clean, it's easy to rock, it's sleek. It's perfect for this fall winter season. I love the Air Jordan 1. It's one of, or probably is, the best silhouette of all time. I'm also a fan of Travis Scott's music. I definitely bump to that from time to time. I'm a fan of his documentary on Netflix. You guys know me, I love the underdog story. Even though it's kind of weird to be calling Travis Scott the underdog right now because he is so big. Go watch his documentary if you haven't yet. But let's be honest, if the Travis Scott Jordan 1 never came out, let's say in a parallel universe he signed with Adidas or Reebok or some other shoe brand, do you think this colorway would have been as hyped as it is today? I don't think so. With that said, again, I said this in my first sneaker review and it still stands now. Rock what you like, cop what you like, you do you. That's what's so cool about the sneaker game. You don't have to want or like a specific sneaker just to appreciate it. So if you like the Travis Scotts and you like these sneakers because they look like the Travis Scotts, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, isn't that the smart option? Why drop $2,000 on the Travis Scott once when you could get these guys for about average $300, maybe even retail if you wait long enough. That's another great thing about this sneaker. It's a general release, meaning the stock number in these are really high that the demand on these will eventually taper down and it'll be easier to cop versus other limited releases. But on the flip side, as we all seen, even as a general release, these still sold out which is a testament to the Travis Scott hype. I really do see the appeal though. If you switch out the laces to pink like a lot of people are doing, that looks fire on these sneakers. And you can never go wrong with an Air Jordan 1 high. I know there's a lot of people out there who want the sneaker just because of that fact. With all that said, am I gonna go out of my way to cop this in my size? Probably not, but for you guys out there who love Travis Scott, who love Air Jordan 1s, who love the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott, but it's out of your price range, then you guys definitely have the next best thing. 
right here. And that is my review on the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. What do you guys think? Was I being fair? Do you guys think there's some truth to what I'm saying? Or do you guys have a totally different opinion? Leave a comment down below. I love conversing with you guys, especially when it's about sneakers. Follow me on Instagram at Albi Peralta. I'm a bit more personal there. I post stories almost every day and I release my sneakers there way before I post them here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, do give me a follow. Again, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. Leave a like on this video. That's what the like button's for. And check out my other videos on this channel. I got more sneaker reviews, challenge vlogs, personal vlogs, gaming videos, anything and everything in between will be on my channel. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye guys.